Welcome. So today there are three things that I really want to talk about. One would be how I hear from God. Two would be what I heard from God. And three, my observation. So starting off with the first thing, the way that I hear from Him, it's, it's kind of like if I was to say, imagine in your mind a brown bat. Even though I haven't shown you a picture of a bat, you kind of see the image in your mind, if that makes sense. That's how I see when he brings movies or scriptures. It's like I can see it in my mind's eye. And we just kind of go from there. And it kind of reminds me of uh, E.T., how he led him with M&Ms. Like I don't go feverishly looking to find something to validate my thinking. I am minding my business. <laughs> and then he brings something to my remembrance. A lot of times I have to I have to Google a lot of things. Oh, and in my last video, I butchered their names so bad. <laughs> so bad. Bathsheba, Adonijah. I mean, I was just, I'm sorry. Like I'm, I apologize for that, but Yesterday, I was at the gym and, you know, I'm minding my business, just working out. And I re he brought to my mind something that I had heard months ago. And it was basically Lance Wallenall telling like his testimony of how the Lord had shared with him that, that President Trump would be, well, at the time it was candidate Trump, would be the 45th president. And um, he was like, I know it's not... You know, I don't know what number president we're on, but if it's 46, I know it's a demon <laughs> or a devil or something like that. And that's where it ended. And I thought, I've never read Isaiah 46. What does it say? Like, why would he say that? What does it say in Isaiah 46? I'm not going to read all of it. You can read it for yourself. Um, but I will start at verse 8. Oh, God, I lost it. Now, before I get into... Um, Isaiah 46 I just want to read something really quick in Isaiah 45 because in my last video I did say that I didn't I don't think I made it made it clear but this is I mentioned it how it was also for the people of God this is like an Aaron's rod moment God's people have always throughout time challenged God in his choosing you know I, I it's gone from Moses to Aaron to Jesus and, and just so forth and so on. They're always challenging God's choice. And I think it's interesting because you find it here in Isaiah. Woe to those who quarrel with their maker, those who are nothing but pot sheds. Among the pot sheds on the ground, does the clay say to the potter, what are you making? Does your work say the potter has no hands? Woe to the one who says to the father, What have you begotten? Or to a mother, What have you brought forth? This is what the Lord says, I, the Holy One of Israel, and its Maker, concerning things to come, do you question me about my children, or give me orders about the works of my hands? It is I who made the earth and created mankind in it. My own hand stretched out the heavens. I marshaled their starry hosts. I will raise up my Cyrus in my righteousness. I will make all his way straight. He will rebuild my city and set my exile free. But not for a price or reward, says the Lord Almighty. This is what the Lord says. And, and he goes on. But I just think that it's interesting because Cyrus was an outsider. And... Um, the fact that he said that he would do it without price or reward. The president donated all of his money. He was in office for four years and didn't receive a penny. This is what the Lord has to say in chapter 46. Remember this. Keep it in mind. Take it to heart, you rebels. Remember the former things, those of long ago. Just want to stop there for a second to me it's the way I took that was remember how I do things 
When we're reading the Word of God, we are looking back and we're seeing the character and the nature of God on its face. On its face. If you look at what took place during the election, it was a gross miscarriage of justice. I don't care that you don't like the guy, but the fact that they wouldn't even look at evidence is totally wrong. Totally wrong. Like we ain't even trying to pick up this case at all. Like I don't even want to look at it. I don't want no part of it. It was, it was absolutely disgusting what took place during this election. But to see this and say, dad, where's the justice? Where is the justice in this? You know, and to know his character, knowing who he is as my dad, I know that he won't allow his people to be put to shame. Not the one that he placed there and not his people that have been standing and holding the line. He's not going to allow them to be put to shame, not for their reputation, but because of who he is. So moving on. Remember the former days, those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand. I will do all that I please. From the east I summoned a bird of prey. From a far off land a man to fulfill my purpose. What I have said, that I will bring about, and what I have planned, that I will do. Listen to me, you stubborn-hearted, you who are now far away from my righteousness. I am bringing my righteousness near. It is not far away, and my salvation will not be delayed. I grant salvation to Zion, my splendor to Israel. And when I read this, I was, um, <clears throat> I was still working out when... I decided to look this up. I almost broke out in a mini dance, but I had to remember where I was. <laughs> it's like, girl, you in the gym, just, just cool it real quick. But I was so excited um, to hear him just affirming it again, that, that what everything that I said, I'm gonna carry it out. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to have my way. And um, I just think he's beautiful. Another thing that I wanna talk about is the whole thing about prophets, prophets, oh, the prophets, the prophets, the prophets. I don't claim to be a prophet. I don't. I am a child, though. I am a child of the Most High God. And even in Scripture, it says that my sheep know my voice. I have a covenant with God in Christ Jesus. And even if you look throughout Scripture, when it came to Sodom and Gomorrah, God said, should we not let Abraham know what it is that we're getting ready to do? Why? Because that was his covenant friend. The Holy Spirit is now in us. The Trinity now abides in our spirit. And he so desires to make all things known to us. It says that the spirit of truth has been given to us and he leads us into all truth, letting us know what things are to come, giving us words of knowledge. I mean, everything that, can, that is available in Christ is, is available to every child of God. So when people come across and, and they say things like, you hear from God? My first thought is, you don't. <laughs> like you're looking at me like I'm crazy, but you're claiming to be a child of God that does not hear God. It, it's like, and honestly, and I, and I want to also say that if you don't think that you do, beloved, you do. That's why for all of us, and I think all of us can testify to this, when we think that we weren't hearing him, we look back years later and we realize that we were faithfully led. How were you faithfully led? He led you from within, even when you didn't even know it. <laughs> That's how good he is. So it's not to, to kick anybody but I just really want us to think properly and put things in its proper perspective. Are there people that do carry those mantles where, where God has, has selected someone to have a particular role in the body of Christ? Absolutely. But as far as every member in the body of Christ, we all, according to the word of God, hear his voice, know his acts and his ways because we are his people and he now lives in us and with us forever. So, that's what I want to say about that. Now, my final 
saying now this isn't a word that has been given to me or anything like that this is literally just me on observation when you look at a movie you could pretty much call what's going to happen it's not that you sat with the writers you can tell what is getting ready to happen in a TV show or a movie because it's predictable just like the pattern of man you see what's coming just by looking at it like oh okay let me let me guess they're gonna get together in the end <laughs> it's just like oh I told you it's gonna, they're gonna get together in the end so when I look at the nature of man and I see the nature of sin um, I want to read something in first Kings that I find extremely interesting are we gonna find that one so starting at verse 49 at this all Adonijah's guests rose in alarm and dispersed but Adonijah in fear of Solomon went and took hold of the horns of the altar then Solomon was told Adonijah is afraid of King Solomon and is clinging to the horns of the altar he says let King Solomon swear to me today that he will not put his servant to death with a sword now I want to stop with him holding on to the horns the power for weeks the media was saying Trump's not gonna leave office if he loses Trump's gonna resist it he's gonna fight he's not gonna leave and I've noticed that everything that the media says is quite the opposite like whatever they said that he did you always found it on the other side and I think now this is just from my observation I think they're projecting again when this hits the fan I believe that he is going to try to cling to the office and the very thing that they said that he would do they are going to be found guilty of themselves now this is just my observation I could be totally wrong on that but I just I just feel like everything y'all say y'all do <laughs> so those are the three things that I wanted to talk on um, again just dad affirming it I will have my way so that's one uh, two is we all hear him so let's not throw stones at each other and we're all growing and developing and hearing in clarity but we all as his children as his people hear the voice of God and because we're in covenant with God he is always desiring to make things known to us so always be open to hear what, what he wants to say and what he wants to do so lastly what I want to say is that in the next few weeks um, maybe a few months I would just say mind your words be mindful of the words that you were saying don't use your words to complain about the current administration or what they're doing or what their plans are but continue to stay focused on God and knowing that he is faithful and he will vindicate and he is going to make all things right because he is a just God we're still in this so I know you've been blessed in your hearing and as always family grace and peace <laughs>